Hi, my name is Aaron and welcome to Thought Bubble, where today I'm going to ask a question. My question today, what exactly is memory? Now, last week I discussed a video describing thought, where I explained that thought is basically a collection of different ideas that are translated through different inputs and outputs. Whereas now, I'm going to ask a question of, that expands a bit on that, is memory. Because everything that we will ever experience in life will eventually become memory. And I ask the question, is a memory a thought? And I want to say yes, and I also want to say no. As, as the situation is, memory can be thought of as its own idea, because you're recalling something that's already happened. It's not a new concept to you anymore. It's nothing new in the moment. You're not experiencing anything new, you're recalling something new. But I want to say yes, because it appears in your head and where you can create new ideas because that is your new input source to create an output source. Now, with memory, you have basically the same kind of function when creating it from a thought. But when it comes to recalling a memory, Biologically, this is what happens. You got your brain again in, in my hands. And in your brains, you got your neurons. Now, these neurons will fire in a very specific way during a very specific situation that you have. Say you're playing, you're learning to play softball. All right, and you got to learn how to hit the bat just right. Your brain will fire neurons in a very specific way so that now every time that you recall that memory, those same neurons have to fire at the exact same way and exact same rate for that memory to be perfectly. So that's how a memory works biologically. Now there is no other real way to describe it, so that's all we have. But then we know that over time memory can actually be corrupted. And like a computer can be corrupted, ours can just be corrupted through age and through interpretation. We are not perfect, we are human. So our memories are very interesting in that they almost take on a life of their own, that they can be tweaked and twisted. Say I make this video now and in a year I try to recall the memory of me making it as it is, everything that happened before, during and after, and it will be different when I actually watch the video because my memory is not perfect almost nobody's memory is perfect now there are people whose memories are good they are amazing they never forget anything even if they try to sometimes I feel jealous because I wish I had that kind of brain but it, it is an amazing thing because memory is very key to humans and almost anything in life that uses memory because that is how we learn things that is how we learn to do things memory and learning is very similar but they are still very distinct entities memory just allows you to recall a certain point in your life where learning takes certain criteria from that memory and translate it into what you need to know say you're learning a language you have words, and these words will come from your memory, but your language will tell you how, your learning will tell you how to put them in the correct order to say what you want to say. Say you're learning computer codes, same way. You'll learn, a couple, you'll learn what a couple, I'm sorry, I'm not a computer genius, but uh, you learn what a couple little identities are, and then learning that will tell you what they do and when you're supposed to use them. So, memory and learning kind of go hand in hand. They, they work together on this machine, uh, and the, the, our mental machine, you know, and they, they are almost directly correlated. Um, but they aren't perfect, of course. Memory... <sighs> Forgive me. Memory is very interesting because it can also... It can also help you cope with certain things. And what I mean by that is memory allows you to relive a situation without any harm. 
There are times when people will go through a traumatic situation and their memory will change dramatically because they don't want to be harmed. The, the mental images harm them. The mental images scare the daylights out of them. It scares them in their sleep until, you know, they're dead. It is a very sad thing to happen to these people. PTSD is one of the biggest things that happens to, to soldiers, and it is a very traumatic thing. And, you know, memories, bad, bad memories will keep popping up. And I believe in, it is our brain's way of trying to cope with that is to change that or to completely forget it. You know, it is an, as an emotional response, not a logical response. You know, and sometimes it works on a, on a subconscious level that these deep seated, you know, pains will work in the in the back where you don't shine light and it will still cause problems for you. So reliving some of those memories and working through them with, you know, psychological help can help people get through certain issues. Now, that doesn't work for everyone, but it can. So, memory is one of the greatest things that we have. Our brains, our, our mental machines, it's one of the greatest things that, regardless of your religion, regardless of your studies, it's one of the greatest things that we've ever been given. You know. But, learning is very interesting because we've evolved or created to be such a being that we are capable of learning. Animals don't really seem to be able to learn too much. They have a very limited amount of memory. Like Think about it like a computer. A computer has a certain capacity for memory of the amount of things, of programs and, and pictures and, and other stuff that it can save. However, you know, animals compared to us, you know, are much smaller. You know, they don't have the mental capacity to learn too much. You know, they can't learn language, nor are they evolved to be able to speak our language. But they know, but like dogs, dogs can learn commands, you know. So learning is not a, an instinctually human trait. It is not directly for us. It is not solely us. However, it is one of the key things that has led us to be able to survive. It is one of the key things that has led us to be able to learn, you know, what kills us, what helps us, you know, who's sick with what, you know. You know, who was right, you know, it allows certain things to happen. And I wanted this video to be a lot longer, but there wasn't as much on memory that isn't already common knowledge. So, I can only put so much interpretation on it, I can only put so much of my own input on it. So, I'm afraid for a second video, the discussion is going to be very low. So there's not much I can have. However, dreams is coming up next week and I'm very excited for that one. I've done a lot of thinking and a lot of topics on that one and I cannot wait because I feel out of dreaming you could have five, six other videos I could do on that and I think that would be awesome. You know, dreaming is a very abstract concept and you'll see what I mean whenever I get there. So, just wait till next week. Uh, stay chatty and have a good day.